let us see about sampling theorem sampling theorem after completion the students can underline sampling as a means of making inference about a population and also they can difference between randomness theorem on model based analysis and they can know the concept of bias and sampling variability and stretch strain sampling theorem what is the sampling theorem a signal the theorem that is um, used for uh, we are using this theorem in the digital communication system sampling theorem states that a band limited signal x of t with x of omega equal to 0 for modulus of m greater than or equal to omega into m can be represented into and uniquely determined from its samples x of n into t if the sampling frequency fs is greater than or equal to 2 into fm where fm is the frequency common present in it and for signal recovery the sampling frequency must be at least twice the highest frequency present in the signal and here this is the signal and this first waveform it shows the analog signal and second one is the impulse signal that is train of impulse signal these two signals are multiplied together and we are just taking the product of these two signals and finally we are getting the sampled version of the signal first one is the first signal first one is the analog signal and second signal is the entrained version of this impulse train signal and here this form the fourth then the then here in the fourth for the fourth and figure it shows the sampling when we are applying the sampling sig the signal sampling theorem we are just multiplying the input that is analog input is multiplied with the impulse trend and finally we are getting the sample signal and this del of t means it is the train of impulse therefore the fourier transform for this can be written by using this equation and after applying fourier transform we are getting the value for or x x of t equal to x of t into 1 by t summation n equal to minus infinity infinity e power j and omega s into t and also we are applying Fourier C transform on both sides of this equation after taking Fourier transform we are getting the spectrum for this particular um, signal via omega s equal to 2 pi f s equal to 2 pi by capital and here this is s of omega equal to 1 by t into summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of omega minus 2 n n divided pi n divided by capital t and by using the spectrum analysis this can be given as x s of f equal to f s into summation of x of f minus n into f s where this f of uh, x of omega or x of f is the spectrum of the input signal and x of omega and s of f is the spectrum of the sampled signal and the spectrum of the condensed time signal x of t with the maximum frequency omega n it is shown in this figure this is the spectrum with maximum signal max frequency omega m and here we are getting the signal that is the signal shows the uh, some uh, that is, that this is the signal for om minus omega plus omega m and minus omega, omega s plus omega s and here and the, this uh, and here if, if you are avoiding uh, if the signal we are sampling the signal for the condition that is f is greater than or equal to 2 f m therefore we can uh, reconsider the signal at the uh, receiver end and also if this condition is not satisfied we are getting an aliasing effect this is the figure that shows the aliasing effect that of, of that particular signal if f s omega is greater than 2 m m omega m the spectral replicates has a largest separation between them known as the god band which makes process filtering much easier and effective and even a non-ideal filter which does not have a sharp cutoff can also be used and if this two frequency is equal that there is no separation between the spectral replicates and so no god band exists and x of omega can be obtained from x of by using only an ideal low pass filter with a sharp cut and if it is less than 2 omega m the lower frequency component is in x of s overlap on higher frequency component of x of omega so that there is a presence of distortion and x of omega cannot be recovered recovered from x of omega x x of omega by using any filter and this distortion is known as aliasing so we can conclude that the frequency spectrum of x x of omega is not overlapped for omega s minus omega m which is greater than or equal to omega m and therefore the original signal can be recovered from the sampled signal and also for omega s my, my, omega s minus omega m is less than omega m then the frequency spectrum will overlap and hence the original signal cannot be recovered from the sampled version therefore the recovered signal for recovering the signal this is condition should be satisfied that is fs is greater than or equal to 2 into f 
aliasing can also be avoided if fs is greater than or equal to 2 into f next is aliasing effect or fall over effect the aliasing means it is defined as the phenomena in which the higher frequency component in the frequency spectrum of signal that identity of takes the identity of a lower frequency component in the spectrum of the sampling signal when f is greater than less than 2 into fm then the signal is under sample therefore the individual terms in equation is given by this equation that is x of omega and it gets overlap and this process of spectral overlapping is known as frequency folding effect also occurrence of aliasing aliasing occurs if the signal is not band limited to a free finite range and the signal in sampling rate is too low to avoid aliasing the x of t should be strictly band limited that is it can be ensured by using anti aliasing filter before the sampling and second condition is fs should be greater than 2 into f next one is micro strain micro strain f m equal to 2 into f m it is a theoretical minimum sampling rate at which the signal can be sampled and still be recovered reconstructed from its samples without any distortion and next one is the data reconstruction and interpolation the process of obtaining analog signal x of t from the sample signal x of x is called the data reconstruction and interpolation here we are just taking the inverse transform and finally we are reconstructing the signal this is the equation that this is the signal this is the signal representation by using the equation and the reconstructed filter which is assumed to be linear and time invariant has unit impulse response h of t and the reconstruction filter output y of t is given by convolution of x s of t and h of t as here we that we are just multiplying this two signal y of t equal to x of x of t into h of t and finally by taking the inverse we are taking the signal we that is we are taking the inverse signal ideal reconstruction filter the sample signal is passed to an ideal filter with band limited greater than fm and if band pass amplitude response of capital t then the filter output is x of t and the transfer function of ideal reconstruction filter is given by h of s equal to capital t for modulus of f less than 0.5 into f this is the ideal reconstruction filter and the impulse response of the ideal reconstruction filter can be given by this equation h of t and finally we are substituting the value in y of t and finally we are getting the value as y of t equal to summation of x of n into t into sink of y of t by capital t minus n and this is the, this are the some of the possible questions questions and sampling thank you